Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. There's a sister you want to marry. You want to marry her and she's given you a, a, a price for her mahar. Let's say it's, I don't know, 10,000 pounds. And you say to her, I can't afford it. Can you make something more reasonable for me? And she says to you, no, but you can go away and you can work for the next 12 months, 18 months until you save this money. Then come back to me, then I'll marry you. I'm going to explain to you why you should absolutely say no to this and just move on as a man, okay? First thing and foremost, let's just get the, the facts straight. Of course, the sister is entitled to ask for what she wants with regards to her mahar. I'm not disputing this. It's a fact, okay? Let's peel back the onion layers though, gentlemen, as I keep on telling you. Read between the lines. Understand the covert messages that are being sent to you when... You're dealing with human beings in general, but particularly with it relates to marriage. If a sister says to you, go away, take as long as you need to build up your finances, then come back to me. What she is telling you is, brother, I don't rate you like that. Understand the following principle. Women, make, women break rules for men they deem worthy and make rules for men they don't. I'll prove it to you. Let's say the same sister who's saying to you, you need to go away and save £10,000. If her favourite scholar of all time, Islamic scholar, or her favourite current celebrity scholar, or her someone whom she holds in high regard from an Islamic viewpoint, came up to her today, either from history, he's, you know, he's brought back to life, hypothetically speaking, in his hypothetical example, and comes to her today and says to her sister, I want to marry you. What do you think she's going to say to him after she says, this is my mahar, 10,000 pound? And then he says back to her, I can't afford it. Do you think she will say, I don't want to marry you? Do you think she will say, go and work for the next 12 months, then come back to me? Hell no! Because she knows this guy is a one in a thousand, one in a million guy. If she doesn't cop him now, another woman will. When a woman says to you, go away and work for the next 12, 18 months until you save your money, then come back. What she's saying to you is, I don't have white hot burning desire for you. So in the interim, I am going to play the field and explore my options elsewhere and see if I can find something else better than what I deem you to be. And if I can't, then in 12 to 18 months time and I'm still single, then we'll get married because I don't have a choice. That's the message she's sending to you. So brothers, don't trip when a woman says to you, you uh, that's my right. I don't care. Go and work for the next 6, 12 months, 18 months until you save that money. Bounce. Next. What she's telling you is, I don't rate you like that. Because if she did, she'd snap you up then and there because she knows that you're a rarity. And she has white hot burning desire for you. That's what you want. You want your woman to have white, hot, burning desire for you. If, she, <clears throat> if she's making you jump through hoops, it's because she doesn't rate you like that. And she's going to play the field and see if there's any other brothers that come to her in that interim. Don't trip. When a sister says this to you and she says you need to go away and work and make some more money until you can come and marry me. What she's telling you is, I don't rate you, bro. Take that L. Move on. Assalamu alaikum.